In today's video, I'll show you how to do a cinematic reveal by creating your own cinematic black bars rather than downloading them from the internet. The first thing I need to do is create my black screen that will be used as my cinematic black bars. Rather than downloading the black bars, you can use a photo if you have an empty project. Just tap on the plus sign, select any photo, and add it to your project. Make sure that it is the only clip in your timeline because if you have another layer underneath it, it won't work. and I'll tap Add to Project, and you can see that my photo is the only clip in my timeline. The next thing I need to do is make sure that this photo matches up with the length of the video clip that I plan to use underneath the cinematic black bars. So I will long press on the end and drag it out to the exact length that I need. Because this is a photo, you can make it as long as you need to. You want to make sure that this photo is exactly the same length as the video clip you plan to use underneath it. If you need to adjust it, just move the playhead to the length of time you want, 18 seconds for example, and then long press on the end of the clip and move it so that it matches up with the location of the playhead. To turn it into a black screen to be used for the cinematic black bars, Select the photo once more and check the format. It needs to be the same format as the clip you're going to use underneath it. In my case, 16 by 9. Just make sure that 16 by 9 is selected. Now select the photo, tap on Opacity, and move the slider from 100 down to 0. The next step is to export the black screen. Tap on Export. Choose your resolution and frames per second setting, and then save it. This should match up with the resolution and FPS setting for the clip that you plan to use underneath it. Once the export begins, don't do anything to interrupt it, or the clip won't export properly. This may take some time depending on the length of your video, because the cinematic black bars need to be on screen for the length of the entire clip. Next, open up another Video Leap project, tap the plus sign, and add the video clip that you plan to use underneath the black bars. Then, tap on Mixer, so you can add the black screen that you just created. Select it from your album, and then tap Add to Project. The first thing you need to do is make sure that your video clip and your black screen clip line up exactly. If they don't, you'll need to adjust either end of the clip so that both clips match up properly. Place the playhead at the end of your video clip, long press on the end of the clip, and move it back to the location of the playhead. Once the clips line up properly, you can change the size and position of the black screen clip. Pinch and zoom to do this. Also, long press and drag the clip to the position where you want it. Once you have it in position, just hit the duplicate icon with that clip selected to create the second layer that I'm going to use on the bottom part of the screen. You can start on either the top or the bottom, that's up to you. I've started on the top. Once I tap on duplicate, I'll just move the second layer down to the bottom of the screen and bring both halves together so that the entire video is covered. Now I need to put in some keyframes so that the black screen opens up and becomes the cinematic black bars. I'll add a keyframe at the beginning of the clip with both halves covering the entire video. Then I'm going to move ahead a little bit and I'll position the bottom or the top clip exactly where I wanted so that it looks like a cinematic black bar like this. You need to use four keyframes on each layer. 
two for the opening and two for the closing. I'll tap on the thumbnail to access my second black screen layer. In this case, for the top of the screen, the one that's selected now. And I'll repeat the process. I'll add a keyframe by tapping on the keyframe button. And then I'll move forward and add another keyframe. Because the two black screen layers are right on top of each other, the keyframes should automatically be added in the same place. Move to the end of the video clip to the point where you want the black bars to start coming together once more. Add a keyframe by tapping on the keyframe marker. Then move to the end of the clip and reposition each black bar so that they come together once again to cover the entire screen. Tap on the balloon thumbnail to access the other layer and add keyframes to that selected layer. You can start at either the top or the bottom, but just make sure that you do this process for both black screen layers. Now the keyframes are in place and they should be in the exact same position. Deselect your black screen clip and play the clip to see how it looks. Now that the animation is complete, export the whole clip. You want to tap on export and choose your export settings. And then tap on save and export your clip. Wait for the export to finish. This may take some additional time depending on the length of your video. That's why this clip is only 18 seconds long.